And welcome to our channel, Canadian Family Life. My name is Tiffany, and today is the day that we get a little bit of help from our food bank. And as you can see, yes, I have a little bit of news. I got some, I cut my hair today, so I look a little different. But I digress. Uh, I don't know how much I can emphasize this. Please, if you need the help, go get the help. I mean, it's there for a reason. Food banks. If they don't get used, they will be shut down. I, I recently learned this from a friend of mine, Mama Baird. She has a point. I mean, and this is all food that would have otherwise gone to, like, the wasteland, like, to waste and everything like that. And it can, it's still, it's still good. It can be used. I mean, just, if you need the help, especially right now, I mean, with everything going on, uh, go get the help. I mean, there are ways of finding out. Call your local, um, different places like uh, Salvation Army. Then they can help you find this, the resources in your local area and everything like that. So please, if you do need the help, please, 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 I beg of you, go get the help. Otherwise, this food will just go to the landfill and be wasted. And it's still good. It's still edible. And it, just because of store policies, they can't sell it. So... If you need the help, please don't go hungry, get the help. Now on saying that, let's get into it. Okay, so I have it spread again. I got most of it over here on the uh, table, as you can see. So let's just kind of dive in. This time around, I got like Cheerio-like cereals for the kids. So these are like uh, Cheerios and such, uh, the compliments version of them. You see, they're kind of like that. So kids are gonna love the change. And then as you can see, we got some long green brown instant rice. So lots of good ideas can come with that. Actually, I have a few coming up that could require, that will require rice. So I'm thankful for that. And then two macaronis, as you can see. All good. And then over here we have the goldfish. I got some goldfish crackers. So they're, uh... I'm reading the French side, turn it over to the English side. Sharp cheddar, there we go. And then, of course, you see hamburger helper, a lasagna one, so I'm going to enjoy having that. And underneath those are some selection garden vegetable crackers, so another good snacking idea. Then you see we've got a cucumber salad dressing and then a Thai, a sesame Thai one. Um, when I called and I asked if they had any salad dressings, they had a whole whack of them. So I said either one and they sent me both. So I am so appreciative of that. Uh, I will definitely make good use of those. And then, of course, you see we've got our tomatoes and bean sauce. Or beans and tomato sauce. Blech. And then a can of uh, peas and carrots. Underneath the Thai sesame is some natural peanut butter so that means all of the oil has separated on the top so I'm gonna have to stir that up before I use it but I don't mind sorry if I'm shaking a little bit guys and then we got these asparagus I'm not sure what to do with those none of us in the house really like asparagus so if you guys have any recipes or suggestions let me know then of course there's some tomato soup I always love that back over here we've got some more baker's chocolate then they sent these cupcakes, so they look pretty yummy, and kids will devour those. Then we've got two cans of these pasta ABCs, kind of like if you guys know um, Zoodles and Alphagetti, that's kind of what those are. These are the good, val or the compliments version, uh, so Sobeys and uh, Foodland here in Canada. Then there are two cans of the tuna but I'm using the tuna right now to elevate the kidney beans which you see underneath and you can just see the see I'm using the second can there so you guys can actually see the kidney beans and then they sent a 
chunky chicken noodle. Now, see, this is interesting to me as I've been looking these up to try and find them on like Amazon to see how much they might be. And they've changed everything. Look at that. That's a skinny. It's changed completely. It's a skinny can now. It's not so chunky. Ha ha ha. Very funny and everything. But so they've changed the packaging. That's why I can't find it. And then we have diced tomatoes in Italian spices. So I will be making some chili very, very soon because, yeah, who doesn't like chili? It doesn't need to be. It's not just a winter thing. Then we got a loaf of bread. Always good in this house. We got some hamburger buns, which is awesome because we got hamburgers with our grocery order. So that will be amazing. I didn't, I couldn't find hamburger buns that were still in stock. So we're going to try these ones. They're kind of soft, so... They're going to be perfect for hamburgers. Then we got some tortillas or tacos or fajitas, depending on what we want to do. And then over here, of course, a flour. I love it when they send the baking goods because it's always appreciated here and helps me stretch everything. And we also got two things of evaporated milk. I have lots of different uh, cakes I can do with that. I've got breads I've got. I've got a whole bevy of things. The kids have already got their snacks, the bag, sna the bag of snacks that they sent. And they sent a lot this time because with the school year just ending, all of the school programs, the school breakfast programs and everything like that, sent all of their uh, leftovers to the uh, food bank. So we are so grateful for that. And then we got some fruit sours. I'm actually going to do a taste test with these. I know what the normal ones are like, but I've never tried the sour one. So stay tuned for a taste test on the Jolly Rancher sour or fruity sours. So that's everything over here on this side. Now, if you just follow me over here, here is all the produce and the other uh, cold stuff. So I'm gonna just dive right in. So if you come over here, you see we got a couple of chicken salad and cracker snacks. That'll be for daddy and mommy. We got some milk, a carton of milk as per normal, that's awesome. We got some uh, chocolate milk. So kids are gonna love that. Then we have another thing that we're gonna have a review on is a cookie dough ice cream bites. They look pretty interesting and I gotta get them in the freezer. And of course, a couple of things of toilet paper, always focaling. Then two really nice looking pineapples. Now, Eddie from Eddie Lugo Studios, what do I do with the pineapples? You, I don't know. I don't do very much with pineapples. So anybody got some recipes other than pineapple and pizza? Don't get me started on that debate again. And then look at this, some really good looking strawberries. We've got two of them. So I'm going to have some of those for a snack here soon. But I also have something I've wanted to try where we dehydrate them. So I'm going to try dehydrating them in the oven and see how they turn out. So stay tuned again for that video. I got a lot of video ideas coming up, so keep your eyes open for them all. Then we've got some frozen cut green beans back there, which I will never turn down. Vegetables are always a good thing as well. Then we have a frozen juice. So again, kids will lo love that. Then you have a couple of apple sauces and some fruit cups. Again, this was from the kids' um, snacks. Uh, these are the ones I don't send to the rooms because they can easily burst open. So I keep them out here. Then we've got something called Wow Butter. It is a plant-based um, peanut butter alternative for allergies and stuff like that. So... Um, to be honest, it's not my cup of tea, but, uh, it's good to have in the pantry just in case those days when you run out of actual peanut butter. So, and then sunflower seeds. So kids don't really like sunflower seeds. So that's for daddy and me. And then we got like six packages of the instant oatmeal, the Quaker instant oatmeal, apples and cinnamon. So, oh, the kids are going to enjoy that as well. And as you can see, we got some pretty good looking apples. So lots of good snacking ideas there. Or heck, maybe an apple sauce, apple strawberry sauce. Hmm, that's an idea, isn't it? Then we got two really look nice looking, like look at these. Some really nice looking grapefruits. They're, if you look, they're the Star Ruby. 
from South Africa. I have not had a grapefruit in like years, so guess what I'll be enjoying here soon. And um, ruby means it's a red grapefruit, so when I cut this open, it will be red inside. And they are so yummy. Then over here we got some peaches. Hubby will like that, he loves peaches. And they're so fuzzy. They're fuzzy peaches. So we got four of those. And then we got this nice looking ham. So Granny, guess what? Grammy, Granny filming again? You'll be seeing ham in our future. So uh, there it is. It's not that bad of a, it's a pretty decent one too. As you see, it's been frozen, so I'll have to stick that in the freezer. And come over here and we got some margarine, which is awesome. I always enjoy getting margarine because I bake so much. It's a good thing to have in the house. And then they sent some coleslaw. So along with the uh, hamburger buns and the coleslaw and everything, we're going to make a meal out of it. I also, there's another recipe I have too that requires coleslaw. So keep your eyes open for possible more videos. Now Bella's going to love this. She loves these tubes. They're uh, yogurt tubes. She loves them. So she'll be happy to see those. We got a nice little chunk of mozzarella cheese. So it's a light version by the looks of it. So it's less fat, but always welcomed. I got a small bag of normal sugar. Again, with all the baking I do, very well welcomed. And of course, puppy dog did not get forgotten. She has got some dry food in a bag. And then as you can see, they sent her a can of wet food. So she's gonna really enjoy that. She's gonna be spoiled little rotten is what she's gonna be. So I think she's gonna really love that and everything. So that she got a little bit of a, of a treat as well. So there's everything and there you have it. So that's all the help we got from the food bank today. Uh, like I said in previously earlier, if you do need the help, please go get it. I um, mean, times are tough right now. Everybody's struggling to survive and food, Poverty should not be one of the things you have to worry about when you shouldn't, even working families sometimes need the help from the food bank. You could have two incomes and still be the working poor. So please get the help you need. I, I highly recommend it. I mean, no one should go hungry or have to choose a roof over their bellies. But I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, hit the thumbs up button. We would really appreciate it. And we'll see everybody in the next one. Bye, everybody. I can't believe it. I did it again. I forgot something. They sent this. It's orange pico tea. So hubby has more tea bags. How I completely missed this, I don't know. But there we are, everybody. The last thing that I forgot. Oh, it's just one of those days, I think.